My name's Kath, Catherine Brigham. I go by Cat. My Indian name is Hipaitoksa, which means back from the river. I came back from the um, Columbia River in 95, and I started working for the tribe as a Board of Trustees member in 95. I've been on the Fish and Wildlife Committee since August of 1976. As a tribal representative for the Umatella tribe, I have participated in court cases, um, in treaty negotiations with the Canada, and a number of other issues for the state, or with the states of Oregon, Washington, and Idaho, and the federal government on fishing issues. Through our U.S. v. Oregon court case, so I've had a lot of history in fish issues. I've always respected water through our feasts and through our celebrations. When we have our feast, we, we th give thanks to our foods for coming back, and water is part of that. So at the end of our service, our end of our prayers, we say choosh, because that's our water. We're thankful that all of our resources have come back so that we can uh, par uh, participate in our culture and give thanks to all of our natural resources for returning. This is our part of our way of life, our culture, and our traditions. You cannot live without water. On the Walla Walla River, it had 100 years without salmon. Last year we had some good returns of spring chinook, and this year we had a, a lower run of the spring chinook returning. But we're starting. We've done, I think we've done a really good job of putting fish back into the system. We're, we're working for generations, seven, we say seven generations all the time. And I think that's the common theme is what we're trying to get people to understand.